Equation of a circle. Further examples. In this video, we will see examples that frequently appear in tests. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and activate the bell. It's very important for the continuity of this channel. Write the equation for a circle centered at minus 5, 12, passing through the point minus 2, 8. The equation for a circle in standard form is given as follows. For a circle with center H, K and radius R. We know that the center H, K is minus 5, 12, and that one of the points x, y is minus 2, 8. So, we can determine the radius square by plugging these values into the standard form. We now replace h with minus 5, k with 12, and r square with 25 into the standard form of the equation of a circle. Find the general equation of the circle that has the points P and Q as the endpoints of a diameter. You will now learn how to find the equation of the circle for which the line segment joining two given points is a diameter. You should notice that the midpoint of the diameter will be the center. So you can find the center of the circle by finding the midpoint of the diameter. The center point is minus 1, 3. And to find the radius, we can use either end of the diameter. And we know the smaller the numbers, the smaller the calculations. So we will pick point P. We now can determine the radius square by plugging these values into the standard form. We now replace h with minus 1, k with 3, and r square with 41 into the standard form of the equation of a circle. And then we will expand the parentheses and combine like terms. Write the general equation for the circle centered at 1 minus 5 and tangent to the line 3x plus 4y equals 8. The tangent line touches the circle and the tangent is perpendicular to the radius from the point it meets the circle. First of all, we need to find the line perpendicular to the tangent line and passing through the center point because the radius will line on the line. Also, the intersection of the radius line and the given line will be a point on the circle from which we can find the length of the radius. We now will find the slope of the tangent line. The slope is minus 3 over 4. We will now work out the slope of the line perpendicular to the tangent line and passing through the center point. Then we will use the equation. The slope is 4 over 3. Plugging this slope in the center point into the point slope equation of a straight line we get the line perpendicular to the tangent line and passing through the center point. The intersection of the radius line and the tangent line is the point where the circle meets the tangent line. So, we will solve the system of equations represented by these two lines. The system can be solved by equating the two equations. The point P is 4 minus 1. 
we now take the equation for the circle in standard form and replace h with 1, k with minus 5, x with 4, y with minus 1 to find the radius. We take the equation for the circle in the standard form again and replace h with 1, k with minus 5, and r square with 25. And then we will expand the parentheses to get the general equation for this circle. Find the equation of the tangent to the circle at the point P, which lies on the circle. The circle given is represented by an equation in expanded form, so we must find the center point. We compare the general form for the equation of a circle with the given expanded equation. We match the x and y terms of the two equations to get the center point of the circle. The center point is 1, 1. We now can find the slope of the radius line. We now can find the slope of the tangent line. Plugging this slope and the coordinates of point P into the point-slope equation of a straight line, we get the equation of the tangent line.